Hi friends, it's Miss Normandy. I have Penny with me here today. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to be making a graduation hat for you. Um, because you are graduating from pre-K and moving on to kinder, uh, this is a graduation time for you. It's time for you to celebrate that you are done with pre-K and you're moving on to something bigger and better and we're so excited for you. you Penny's moving on too. She is graduating from pre-K and she's moving on to kindergarten too so she's really excited so she is going to be helping me today to make a graduation hat um, to wear while we celebrate here at home and hopefully you guys can make one too so that you can celebrate at home too and I hope when you're done that your parents will send a picture to me so that I can make um, a little collage and put all the pictures together so that we can have a little class picture with your graduation hat. I just think that would be so fun. So let's get started. We're going to show you what we need to get started. You're going to need a ruler. You're going to need some scissors, probably some parent scissors and some kid scissors. And you want to go get your kid scissors. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to need some tape. You are going to need some construction paper. If you don't have construction paper, regular office paper will work. Really any paper will work. If you have a poster, that will work too. And for the hard part, for the hat part that goes on top, the easiest thing to use is a cereal box. So if you don't have a cereal box, any box that is a square, um, a snack box, uh, anything that's cardboard, and really, honestly, two pieces of paper, regular paper, will work just fine. So, we're going to get started. We're going to start with our construction paper. And the kids will know how to fold this in half. We do this in class all the time to make our little hats that we do. So, you're going to fold it down this way and make sure it's nice and even. So go slow, friends, and then push down and make sure all your little edges are just right. And uh, Penny, you wanna fold yours in half so we can, mm -hmm. can show us? Mm -hmm. So once you fold it in half, Penny's gonna fold hers. Then you get your scissors and you cut right where that line is. You're gonna cut it right in half. Okay, so Penny's got hers folded and now we're gonna cut. You wanna get busy cutting yours, Penny? Mm -hmm. Okay, cut it right in half. It doesn't have to be perfect, friends. And don't worry, if you don't have a cereal box or you don't have construction paper, you just have regular paper, Miss Normandy says it's okay. You can use any paper that will work for you, okay? An old box, a shoe box, a poster, anything that you can get to be about rectangular size and square size. How's it going, Penny? All right. So now what we're gonna do, this part is gonna go around their head. So we're gonna take the two ends like this and we're gonna tape them together. Any way you want, just make sure they line up pretty good and get a piece of tape. And Penny's gonna show us she can do that too. Here you go, Penny. Get a piece of tape and tape that together. So I'm gonna tape mine. And you can use about two pieces of tape, should be good to tape that together. So we're gonna use two, and then we're gonna show you what that looks like. See, just like that. And the other side will look this way. So that's kind of the side that you're gonna put going around the head. Let's see, Penny. The other way, we're gonna wrap it. Oh yeah, okay, we might need one more piece of tape for Penny. Here, we can go like this. All right, so. That's going to go around their head. And then once you have their head measured out pretty good, you're going to want to tape it closed. I like it like this, Mom. You like it like that. Okay. So we've got that done. We're just going to tape it. Want to tape that closed? Good job. One more piece of tape. Awesome. All right. So that's our hat part. And now we just need the little part that goes on top, right? That's the hat part, we just need the little flat part. So let's do that next. So now we get our cereal box and we're gonna do this part. And this might be fun for the kids to decorate something fun here. You can draw pictures, you can put stickers, you can write graduate on there, you can do anything fun like that. I think that would be really fun to decorate this part. And when we're done, that's gonna go right on top 
and it's gonna look like a little graduation hat like that. So let's get started. Yes, honey? Yes. All right, so we are gonna measure out uh, eight inches. So we're gonna measure out eight inches going this way and eight inches is going that way. And parents, if you wanna just draw the lines and then have your kids cut it, that'll work really well. So I'm gonna mark <laughs> this for Penny and then we are going to cut it. So let me mark it, Penny, right here, eight and this way eight and then we will cut what do you think penny mm -hmm. yes? yes okay so here and here so this might be a little bit harder for you to cut but you can try so you're going to cut this way all the way till you get to the end okay okay all right so like i said friends you don't need a cereal box you can use a piece of paper will work just fine, um, but if you have something a little bit harder, like a cereal box or like a snack box, that'll be great. Like a fruit snack box. A fruit snack box. <laughs> okay. So now you're going to cut this line right here, Penny. There we go. Okay, can you cut that line for me? So we're trying to make a square, friends, um, because the square is going to go on top of the hat. That's going to be the top of your little graduation hat. Mommy. Yes. I want a point. Mommy. Oh, a point. Okay. We can also make a tassel to go off the end of that. I didn't prepare for the tassel part, so I'll probably have to make a separate video for the tassel, but that will be easy. That will be fun too. And that's really if you have string at home or yarn, uh, ribbon, um, let's see what else would work to make that tassel. I don't want you guys to have to go out and buy anything. You should be able to use it stuff from home so hopefully you've got some kind of string or yarn something that you can um, make your little tassel with we can even make it out of paper so if you have paper at home I'll show you how to make a paper one too good job Penny you okay there's her square so later on we're gonna have Penny decorate this part um, when we use our tassel we're gonna have you punch a hole right in the middle and put a little tack right there and that's where our tassel will hang from. So for right now, let's just finish making the hat part and we'll do the tassel part next. So you're gonna get your little headband that you made and your hat. We're gonna make this the underside or what you could do if you wanna get real fancy is you can get a piece of paper and you can cover it up. That way it's white and the underside will be white and it won't look like a cereal box. But I think it's kind of cute, so we're gonna leave it just like that. So we're gonna put the hat, I'm gonna try to lean this so that you can see it. We're gonna put this part right there, and actually we're gonna flip it. So we're gonna put this down just like that. It's kind of hard with this tablet to show you, but um, it looks like this. Ta -da. And then we're going to put some tape on. So let me put one piece of tape and then I'll show you, I'll pick it up so that we can um, show you what we're gonna do. So you are going to put the tape like this. You're gonna anchor it on the bottom and then put it right up on the top and you're gonna do that going all the way around the hat. So Penny's gonna help me. We're gonna start putting pieces of tape going up and down up on the side of the hat and then down to the bottom of the box. And I'll move this so that you can kind of see what Penny is doing. Let's see if we can see what Penny is doing without making this too difficult. See how she's just putting the tape on the side of the hat and then on the box. So let's spin it around and we'll put some on this side. So that's kind of how we're doing that. So we're gonna do that a whole bunch of times all the way around, and then we'll show you the end result. So this will be something that the kids can help with, that they can do too for themselves. This will be their special hat that they have made. Okay, you ready to put it on, Penny? All right, so there's our hat. It's kind of got some tape on it. There's the little top. And, ta-da, 
Mommy, on the top later, can we put a point? We'll put a little point. We'll put the little tassel that hangs down right here. If you want to, if this looks like it's going to be too fat for you, you can always fold it in half one more time and then cut it so that it's not so tall up on their head. But I think it looks pretty cute. So friends, I hope that you do this at home. It was real fast and easy. Uh, something fun for you to do with mom and dad and send me a picture when you're all done of your little graduation hat. And I will send you one more tutorial about how to make the tassel. We'll do one out of paper and one out of yarn. That way, if you have yarn at home, great. And if you don't, we can just make one out of paper. Okay, friends, see you soon. Bye.